All right, moving on to 12.5, uh, we're going to take a look at um, simplifying complex rational expressions. Um, and what we want to accomplish in simplifying complex rational expressions is we want to take these problems that we see where we have fractions inside of, of a, a one big fraction, and we want to eliminate that so we are down to a single rational expression. So if you can see this problem, you know, we have this fraction up here, this numerator over this fraction bar here, um, and then we have this <coughs> denominator here, okay? So uh, we have to have a technique to, to help us get rid of the this fraction inside of a fraction, okay? Um, and I call this type, type one, where we see a single fraction over another fraction. And we can think about, you know, what did we do when we had a fraction divided by a fraction? Well, what we did was we would copy the first fraction. We had changed the sign to multiplication, and then we would write the reciprocal of the second fraction. So, right in the reciprocal of the second fraction, I have this. And now the problem doesn't look as scary. You know, we just have it into a multiplication of rational expressions. And we can do our cross-canceling. The 2s will cancel out. Um, these x squareds will cancel out. Knock this down to x to the first. Um, this y to the third is going to cancel out. And knock this down to y to the first. And so what we have left in this problem then in the numerator, everything canceled out, so we have a 1 left. And then in the denominator, we have um, a 3 and an xy. I like to write it in alphabetical order. Okay, And what we see now is we're down to a, a rational expression where we don't have other fractions inside of the, the fraction. So we've simplified this um, complex rational expression. Looking at this next one here, again, I, I look at this as type 1. <coughs> Excuse me. We have a fraction inside of a fraction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this out onto my paper from the Hawks system as copy the, the first fraction, change it to multiplication, and flip the second fraction. So I flip the second fraction. I'll write the reciprocal. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for cross-canceling here, make sure everything's factored. There's nothing that will cancel out. Look for factoring this way, or canceling, excuse me, uh, reducing the 3 cancels. The x cancels, knocks this down to x. And so what do I have left in the numerator? Well, I have x times x plus 2, and then 5x uh, minus 1. Okay. Put these equal signs in here. Now, what we often forget uh, or, or get confused about is what does it mean to actually simplify a, a, a complex rational expression? And that means we just want to get it into a single rational expression like this, where we don't have a big mess of fractions inside of fractions. Okay? Um, so, work on these. Identify type 1. There's a lot of good videos out on YouTube. Um, I'm going to end this video so we can move on and, and look at these other. Uh, two types or types here where we see not just a, a single fraction in the numerator here. See, we have two terms here, so we'll we'll take a look at these next. Okay, thanks.